My five dads. You know, when did TV sitcoms stop having a mom and dad and a kid? Now it's all these bizarre family unit situations. Well, there was the Brady Bunch and Family Affair with the old American guy, the fat English guy, the two kids, and a mysteriously teenage sissy. You know, there was always something scary about sissy. I was always afraid she wanted to marry Uncle Bill. <laughs> I never thought about it, but uh, I guess you're right. Yeah. Anyway, My Five Dads has taken this bizarre family unit trend to town. The little girl in the lead lives with five different guys, and supposedly she doesn't know which one is her real dad because, well, it's all explained for us very neatly in the show's theme song. Shall we? Her mama had too much love in her to give to just one man. She said, I'm gonna give it away to as many in a family way who was responsible she could not say it could have been the boxer or the indian or maybe the chef or the lawyer or the rock star they never had blood tests taken before that early morn when a tiny little bundle of joy named chloe was born when they left the hospital her mom got hit by a car chloe's lucky just to be Instead of just one dad, she's got five. <laughs> Get on in here, you wacky dad, you. Your breakfast is getting cold. Come on. What's up, sweet pea? Bill wore the long face, Chloe. No reason. Someone's in a little mood today. <laughs> Bagel, brioche. <laughs> mm, I guess I was just thinking about Mom again. Dad? Yes, yes princess. princess. <laughs> Tell me about Mom again. Well, honey, your mom was a real special lady. Muffin? <laughs> She had so much love inside of her that it was too much for just one man. Croissant? <laughs> well, uh, she was, uh, she was a... Tart? <laughs> hey, aren't you gonna be late to school, love? I'm not going to school. Why? Why? I'm never going to school again. All the kids make fun of me because I have five I'm going to my room and I'm never letting myself out. <laughs> I wish, I wish I was never born. <laughs> well, the dads spend the rest of the show trying to cheer her up, including getting her a date with the popular rap group Run DMC. In a very ill-conceived cameo. But the kid whines for another 20 minutes anyway, with the kind of dialogue that just about anybody that's ever watched TV could write in their sleep. Now listen to me, you single dads, you. I don't like to butt my nose in other people's <laughs> business, but I don't think you've been doing a very good job raising that little girl. You've got to get your priorities straight. There, I said it. I guess you're right, Bev. I have been putting my rock star career first. <laughs> I have been spending all my time preparing for that Atlantic City fight. <laughs> I've been cooking a lot. I've been doing a lot of hunting and fishing in our nation's dwindling wildlife areas. I've been a bad dad, too, I guess. It's just that, well, it seems so unlikely that I'm her father. I mean, I'm black. And she's so blonde. 